Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm doing something that I've never actually done on the channel before. I've spoken about perfume empties in my empties videos. I haven't done a lot of empties videos either on the channel for a while. But I got to thinking um, about doing a how many empties, how many perfume empties did I go through in 2020. Now I know I've gone through more than what I've got here. I've got six empty perfume bottles and there's two that are being carried forward from last year, so from 2020. Um, so we, I've just put them all in here. Um, so we'll just go through them. So like I said, there's six in here and then two that are being carried forward. So I can't go from the ones that I used first or anything like that. I'm sure there's quite a few missing because last year I was talking about kind of trying to use up my perfumes in like project like bringing a perfume into a project pan so when I finish one perfume I'll bring in another and so on because I wanted to treat myself to Dior Jador and I don't have to now because my mum said that she would get it for my birthday and has actually got it for me um, she showed it to me it's all wrapped so yeah I'm looking forward to bringing that into the collection once that once that is in the collection I'm going to be doing a perfume collection I've not done one for a couple of years now and I want to show you how much smaller my collection has gotten so I'm going to show you these um, so we've got Love Struck by Vera Wang absolutely adore this bottle I think I'm going to keep it and put it on the shelf like behind me so yeah we'll leave that out that's probably why I've not thrown it out but then I've got this far and away one it looks like there's a little bit left still in the bottom, but it won't come out. Um, my mum got me this years ago from the Avon. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. Then I have this one. Now, only a little bit was left in this. Um, I loved it. Every time I used to go to my mum's house, I used to spray a little bit on. It's the Anne Anne Premier Delice. So, it's not the original they brought out. I don't like that one. It's too strong a scent. And this one, though, is really... I wouldn't say floral, um, I would say it smells sweet. That's kind of my perfume scent. I love perfumes that smell really, really sweet. Um, I don't like musky scents or like really, really strong scents. The only one that I've got in my collection that smells quite musky is the YSL Black Opium. And I absolutely love that. And I save it for special occasions. Um, so um, yeah, I've used all this up. Um, such a cute bottle as well we got this in Portugal when we went to Portugal a few years ago now like four years ago um so yeah it's really really nice then I have this one this one is gorgeous guys love the bottle on this as well but I can't keep every single perfume for the bottles this is Katy Perry's Mad Love Oh, it smells so nice I'll definitely repurchase this one again because it's so inexpensive um yeah it's just a gorgeous scent then we've got a couple of minutes so we've got this one i've had this years this one i've had years i didn't even feel like it was in my collection i feel like you got five of these now my ex-husband bought me this and i just wanted to use it up because it was so old um yeah and i'm just really really glad it's out of the collection um so there is that one and then this one here is another mini um so this one is Givenchy's leave irresistible and i won at a competition a while back a couple of years ago i would say and they sent me this sample they sent me a gift card and they also sent me some mascara which i absolutely love i've got that on the channel so i will link it to the cards to the info here so that's that um, and then there's just one more that i've used up which is katie price stunning which is also really really nice um can i smell it yeah um it doesn't smell like it used to so i think it may have expired so it's a good job i did use it up and then the ones that i'm bringing forward i'm sure you already know if you watch my shot my stash is this one 
so so cute isn't it i'm gonna keep this bottle for sure and put it behind me on the shelf um so this one is Nicki minaj punk friday so it was a full bottle when i originally started on it and it's literally at half now so there and then we've also got Colleen's Butterflies. Now this is a big humongous bottle. I think it's about 100 mil. Yeah, it is. Um, and this one is Butterflies. So I'm kind of layering them on top of each other and it smells absolutely gorgeous. So they're the two that are going to be used until I finish them completely. I don't know whether to class this as 2020 or 2021. I suppose I would class it more as 2021 because I brought them in right at the end a couple of months say October November time of 2020 so I'll just roll it over to 2021 and see when we finish it and then we'll bring more perfumes in um, I don't really have a lot guys I used to have a load of perfumes I've not bought perfumes in a good few years now um, the only new perfume I'm getting for my birthday as far as I know is that Dior one that my mum's got me um, so yeah once I've got that, um, I will do an updated perfume collection for you. I know like the previous perfume collections that I've done have gone down really well. So I understand that you really do like those kind of videos. If you want me to do some other different kind of videos that I've not done on the channel, please leave me a comment down below and I'll see if I can do that. Um, I'm open to suggestions and this concludes the video guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. If you're not already subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button down below. Click the notifications. Please like, share and comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.